The United Nations, in collaboration with Imo and Abia State, has launched the COVID-19 Economic Revitalization Support Program. It is to cushion the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic in the lives of vulnerable households in the state. The state focal person on the Sustainable Development Goals is Christina Ude. He said the launching of the program marked a milestone as it would help select vulnerable communities in reduction of risk and enhance the resilience of the poor. The United Nations Development Program representative Ahuna Akonwa said the program will help to reduce the gaps between the rich and the poor. It marks another milestone in the lives of vulnerable households from communities affected by the social e social economic impact of COVID-19 in Imo State. We're all aware of the impact of the pandemic on the lives of many Nigerians, which has brought about untold hardships to the vulnerable, mostly comprising of women, young people, and people living with disabilities. To this end, the aim of this project is to, su is to support selected vulnerable communities affected by COVID. The intervention will support the reduction of risk and enhance the resilience of the poor and vulnerable population who are at risk. Those who have and those who don't continues to widen. Our information today shows that the world has become so unequal. There is no match in history. The more wealth we generate, the more inequality there is. And this has been revealed so much with this pandemic, the impact of COVID-19. We have seen that with this pandemic, in terms of its socioeconomic impact, we have even deepened inequality. Today in the world, some countries have achieved 50, 60, 70, 80 percent vaccination. In most of Africa, we're at 2, 3 percent. The governor of Imo State commended the United Nations Development Program for the intervention to support people affected by the pandemic. Indeed, with all of us, those who are directly or indirectly involved in the implementation of this program, to ensure that this program is implemented, implemented in the manner it has been designed. I'm almost certain that by the amount of monies I'm told that will be given to these vulnerable people, it may not mean much to some of us who are at the urban centers. It may not mean much to some of us who are medium or high income earners. But knowing the demography of Imo State and the type of population of the type of poor people we have, it means a lot. So let us religiously drive this program to target. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.